Hey, how's it going? My name's Olivia. I'm studying a Bachelor of Arts with an extended major in writing and a minor in journalism and mass communication. And this is my third year of study as well. Hi, um, my name is Tiam. I'm studying English and drama in secondary education. It's also my third year. I have been given a PIP note, so what does that mean? This is a good question. Um, so, uh, uh, first you'll get sort of like a progression uh, intervention notice, I think the first one's called, or sort of a progression notice if you fail sort of over 50% of your courses. There's a few different things, uh, reasons for why you could get one. So if you fail over 50% of your courses or if you withdraw from all your courses in a semester um, after like the census dates, um, you'll get a notice from UQ that's sort of like, oh, hey, what's going on? Um, and they'll ask you to complete a PIP, which is a progression improvement plan. So they sort of just, uh, the information can be found on online UQ's website about exactly what they want you to answer in your plan, but the types of things will be sort of, oh, what did anything impact your study this semester, sort of reasons why you might be failing, mm -hmm. and then sort of you have to make suggestions on how I guess you can improve for next semester and things you're planning on like implementing into your study um, in order to enroll for the next semester. You sort of need to complete that before you're eligible and able to like enroll again. So you, you just wants to see that you sort of um, can be self-aware, I guess, and sort of see maybe what went wrong see maybe what went wrong that semester and then sort of be able to make changes and yeah it doesn't mean you're in trouble it doesn't mean you can't enroll they're just sort of looking for you to sort of reflect and I guess sort of plan what to do next. Also you, there will be probably a um, couple of steps you want going through. Mm. The first is um, probably you want to what category um, best describe the main reason for you to submit. So it could be a medical condition, it could be a um, program that or challenge you face in the pre previous semester and uh, to provide help um, and to write details of what you're going to manage this um, challenge in this semester or the incoming starting plan. Since your previous progression, um, what's important for you to understand is you what's your main factors that have contributed to your not meeting the requirement level of, of academic progress and um, also explain um, the practical step you have already taken mm. and plan to take in. So um, to pre improve your academic abilities and performance should um, you be able to re-roll in yeah, this course. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, they sort of want to know as well, which if any, if like support you have reached out to at UQ, whether that be like an academic advisor or a counsellor. So if you haven't reached out to any of those and they they might recommend that you do that in the next semester or that might be part of your PIP saying, uh, I'm planning to start seeing an academic advisor or a learning advisor to sort of help me with my time management, yada, yada, like whatever you're sort of struggling with or I'm planning to see... Um, like a disability support worker and get my diagnosis sorted so I can get like an SAP. Um, so it's really personal. Um, mm -hmm. It's not shared with sort of anyone besides like um, the person reading, I guess, online through their uh, like approval pro process. It won't become like a big public document, so you don't need to worry mm -hmm. about that type of thing either. Yeah. yeah. So one thing, if you have already submitted a previous um, mm -hmm. progress improvement plan, so you need to explain what you have met any conditions set by the academic since your previous submission. Yeah, cool.